All right, so welcome back to the channel. My name's Kevin. I'm Tarsha. This is Conversations with the Crowleys, and on this channel, we do conversations about faith, family, relationships, and we do recaps and reviews of some of our favorite shows. This one is all about Stasha and Nate from Married at First Sight, Season 15 in San Diego. So listen, you know what to do by now. Subscribe, like, push notifications. Let's share. Didn't steal it that time. And we'll see you in the comments. And then also, listen, we just launched channel memberships. Um, so there's a couple of packages there. Choose the one that's going to work best for you, the fam package. Um, and we'll see you as members. You'll also have that once a month uh, live stream that we'll do with y'all. So definitely take advantage of that. All right. Jumping into it, Stasia and Nate. Um, they start off with their deeper conversations from the box, right? And she asks, they're in the pool, jacuzzi, whatever. Where are we at? And he's like, on a scale of 110? Yeah. We had a bow. And she's like, what? <laughs> a bow? Okay, let me put it this way. If it was 100%. We at 40%. We at 40%. <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? That thing is 40%. Still his math. I'm, I'm a little suspect about the math. It's 40%. Four out of 10 is 40%. I get it. But he's acting like that was better by saying 40%. <laughs> he like maybe maybe the low four is what threw you off. Maybe if I throw 40%, he could may, maybe 400 out of 1,000. There it is. We, we have 400, baby. <laughs> I'm like, okay. He say so. But he says, he's like, I'm, he, he's being more realistic and it's more of an upside potential. He's like, look, we're we're just three weeks into this. I'm at four out of ten. I'm not at zero, but I'm definitely not at ten. We're growing. This gives us the opportunity. If this is where we are right now, it could be a lot better when we get to that place. So I give Nate kudos for approaching it the way he does. I get it. I get both of their. I get both of what they're saying. She's like, I'm trying to be open. Mm -hmm. I don't want to be a closed door because she's done that in the past. Mm -hmm. Him is like, you're. it's almost like him saying, babe, you're my first love. And I want to give my first love, right? Because I'm married to you. Mm -hmm. I've done everything wrong. Right. So they're both saying the same thing. They are. And they're coming at two different approaches. The point is appreciating everybody's approach. Yeah. Because she's like, well, she's at an eight out of 10. And according to Nate's, that would be an 80%. She's 80% of the way there or 800, right? Uh, <laughs> so it's like, he just, he's like, I don't want to be overly excited. I want to, I want to take this. I want to grow in this. I want this one. I want this first time to be the only time. So I think if she would get out of her head on this, I think she would could value what he's saying because he's he's not jumping in and saying, oh, yeah, you you it. he's not Justin. Right. He's not he's not just like, oh, baby, I'm forever. He's like, let's I, I'm liking what I see so far. Let's continue and grow this because I want more and I want this to last. Yeah, because this conversation ends up in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You know, they're fixing dinner mm -hmm. and she's like trying to, you know, really understand where he's coming from. Mm -hmm. And he's like. I he's like I really want to make sure that everything that you become my best friend. Right. I want a relationship that that's a friendship as well, and not just based on sexuality, but our mind. Everything is coming together, and that's going to take some time. He's like, I want to know you more. I want to know your soul. <laughs> and she's just like, I hear that, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I do want him to say that he loves me and all those wonderful things. Right. But she's not realizing it is three weeks in. And so just like she's not ready to say, I love you at this point. Mm -hmm. And to her, because the way she has to handle how her heart feels, she can't put that yeah. all on him. So it gets a little testy yeah. at this point. Yeah, because she's like, I want it measured. I want my, you know, I want... Our relationship should be measurable, right? Our love should be measurable. He's like, everything being measurable? He's like, I don't necessarily get that. 
Um, she asked him, what are you, you know, what are you making a choice to do? Because he's like, I'm choosing to be married to you. She's like, okay, what does that mean? Do you, uh, does that mean you're not committed to love or com be, uh, committed to being committed? And he's like, that don't mean that. <laughs> right. Because I was like, hold on. He is committed because he said he wants to go to therapy. Right. He says that he he's wants gonna to move make... into the place. He's, he wants to have he kids. At some he said he'll have a, what a post, post nut. Mm -hmm. So all those things are signs that he was interested in you and wanting you. So I'm thinking in my head, well, they both have a fear. Yes. Her fear that he doesn't want to commit and, you know, want to love her. His fear is if he jumps in all four feet that he's going to get hurt when he does say he loves you. Yeah. So they're sitting now at a table and they're eating mm -hmm. and, you know, she's trying to express some more. And he's expressing like, I don't like how mm -hmm. you're talking about this. And he goes, you got a fear? Are you afraid? Well, even before that, because he was like, look, you playing devil's advocate, you being manipulative right now because you you keep saying the what ifs, what ifs, what ifs. You plan, you, 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 you get into that point where now you're moving into manipulation. Um, as she said, you know, the manipulation was attacking her character. But yeah, you just kept pressing the issue and pressing it and, and look, because she wants to hear it. He wants to show it. Well, she asked him to show it. She said words doesn't mean much to her and you need to show it. Because later on, he did call her on that. He's he like, called her. <laughs> He's like, look, you need to make up your mind. Do you want to see it or do you want to hear it? Because if you're saying at the beginning, you've heard this from dudes in the past, mm -hmm. let me show you. And guess what? That takes time to show you. Yeah. So you can't have it both ways. Mm -mm. So when he's like, are you in fear? He's like, she's like, well, yeah. But he said, well, why didn't you just say that? She's like, I did. Okay. No, you didn't. Because... We sometimes don't say what we are subconsciously feeling or or we know how to say it. Or afraid to say what it is. Or afraid to say it. But at the same time, she should say, are you afraid too? Yeah. Because they both are afraid. Granted, guess what? It is scary. Mm -hmm. And we shouldn't always look at fear as being bad. Right. Fear keeps us from getting burned on the stove. Fear keeps us from just walking off a building. Keeps you safe on the south side of Chicago. Thank you. So having some fear, it should be a very natural reaction. Mm -hmm. But the goal is that you both go in and saying, look, we are both fearful. Yes. And we understand that this is scary. Mm -hmm. We just met each other. But we're going to have to, like he's saying, I'm asking you to be able to trust me. And that has to be hard because he is a stranger. Yeah. And the same thing, she needs to repeat that to him. Well, at the same time, I need you to trust me. Mm -hmm. So while we're walking this fear walk, this scary thing about love, mm -hmm. that we step by step gain each other's trust. Yeah. Cuz I mean, he did he did kind of hit with some jabs periodically as far as just verbal jabs cuz he he said something along the lines of um, you keep playing devil advocate too long. Now you're just being hard headed, right? And she was like, "I'm feeling um, elevated on ten inside." So they do go to the counselor, right? Um, and they don't go to the counselor. They're the, in the, the therapy group session, session. Right? The therapy session, right? Um, and she, you know, he again is like, "What I'm saying, you're not seeing. What I'm doing, you're not giving me credit for." Um, he's like, I'm taking actionable steps because uh, she's like, she does not feel that he matches her vulnerability. And he's like, time out. Where did that come from and what that mean? Because he's like, I'm I'm showing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing things that I would not normally do. Um, and and so she doesn't want him to, you know, he's like, but if you keep pressing me, if you keep not believing what I'm saying and what I'm doing, if you keep not giving me credit for the changes and the things that I'm doing to to make this thing work. It's like after a while, I'm just going to give up because it, it doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, because I think what it is, it's always hard when you're looking at it from a point of view mm -hmm. of you. Yeah. You're rating someone based on you. Right. 
when you need to rate someone based on them. Mm -hmm. And you don't know how to rate them because you only know your level. Right. And so I think that's where she's missing it mm -hmm. when she's rating it on her level instead of rating him where he needs to be rated. Right. So after the counselor, they're sitting on the couch talking and he's like, uh, let me just lay it out right now. Irritated. And there is a disconnect. Let, let me just be very plain, very blunt. Um, and he's like, everybody else sees what's happening. They see my effort. They see my intentionality. They see what I'm doing. And he's like, the thing that irritates me is that the person who I care about most in this process doesn't see it and it's not giving me credit for it. Um, so you want to see some feelings? There it is. Yep. <laughs> and he, it was like him dropping the mic. like, And he walks off. Yeah, because he literally, like you said earlier, he he's like, you said this and this is what I'm doing, but you want this, which you said you didn't want. So what is it? And because of that, let me walk away right now. Right now. Because he said, I'm listening to you. Mm -hmm. He's like, I heard you out. And because I heard you and I want to do right by you, Brilliant. I'm doing what you asked. He came with receipts. He came with, he came with CVS receipts. Y'all know CVS receipts is long. Yeah. Where you got to fold it two or three times to get it in your purse. Because he, because she tried to say, well, I brought it up to the therapist because, you know, I wanted her to know where we were and what we were going through. He's like, no, 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 baby girl. You said you feel this way, not you felt that way. <laughs> he got grammatical on her. Listen, he know his verbs. His math may not be added, <laughs> but his verbs, he know his verbs. <laughs> He's like, the tent you were using. You were in you were in present tense. You used the present participle, not the past okay. participle. Yeah. He knew he's like, listen, he got, if anyone's listening, and he's like, let's talk about the verbs you use. He got all grammatical on her. I was like, well, dang. and then he was like, it's not a me thing, it's a you thing. Drop the mic. <laughs> I'm going to bed. You can join me if you want. So we'll see. But yeah, he's he's like, look. He, your energy like he said he is not he's like i am not intimidated yep so again that's it for this one we'll see what happens as we move forward make sure you're hitting that subscribe make sure you're hitting that join button and becoming a member part of the fam here on conversations with the crawlies and we will see you next time have a great one be blessed